It's Thursday, so that means it is time for another Rock Up Podcast. This one here is a number 50. I don't know how I did it. I don't know why I did it. Well, I know why I did it. I don't know how I did it, but I made it to 50. Yes, sir. Rock Up Podcast is brought to you by Blackbird Tattoo and Piercing, located at 300 South State, Clearfield, Utah. Um, They do tattoos, they do piercings. Also, anti-all forever. Go to Spikes and Hate, storeenvy.com, and buy some stuff, and support that underground real deal metal not the bullshit you guys can always reach me at rocketpodcast at gmail.com or on any of the social media bullshits and I will get back to you dude Well, thank you all for tuning in for this number 50 of the Rocket Podcast. Um, I appreciate it. I hope uh, you're all doing well, being safe, and um, taking care of yourselves and your loved ones. So, I guess it would be obvious to go over what do we know right now. Okay. Most of the country is undergoing a kind of lockdown procedure. Blackbird Tattoo and Piercing, my sponsor, uh, one of my sponsors, had to shut down because they're not considered, you know, tattoo and piercing is not considered an essential uh, business at the time. I think the people that work there think that their money is essential and their um Living is essential. And means of paying for food and housing and all that is all essential. But uh, according to the government, it's not essential. So basically a bunch of uh, cock-sucking dog eaters went and got their fucking shop shut down until May 1st. Um, so that's that's going on right now. It's a stressful time. And we're all going to just have to fucking deal with it and get through it. So, yeah, basically due to, you know, the whole COVID-19 thing for the next couple of weeks. Let's see, today is uh, April 2nd. So until May 1st, the entire month, uh, shops like that are going to be closed down, restaurants. You only get takeout you know, all that shit, so, I mean, we're all going through it, we're all dealing with it in our own way, and it sucks, um, but, okay, so, like I was gonna say, the overview of what we do now, okay, you wash your hands and your face frequently, right, anytime you go out in public, wash your hands, you know, wash your face, try not to touch your face, um, Try not to go out in public if you can. I've kept my wife and kids uh, locked up for about two weeks now. Except for little uh, nature walks where no one's around us. Or little drives out to the country. Um, Summit County in Utah. Summit County is um, completely shut down because they had 200 confirmed cases of the virus. If you don't know where Summit County in Utah is, Summit County is where Park City is located. And if you don't know the significance of Park City, that's where the Sundance Film Festival happens every January. Um, If you don't know what the Sundance Film Festival is, um, get on Google and look it up, dumbass. 
But I digress. You uh, came and go into there right now. They've got it com completely locked down. Never seen anything like this before. It's pretty freaky. It's like after nine, like the feeling, the emotion is like after nine eleven happened. That's what I compare it to. But you were allowed to go places then. Of course, there was like national guard on every street corner and shit. But um, yeah, man, it's kind of the feeling. But back to my list. Okay, avoid Advil. Advil is supposed to make this shit ten times worse. It can kick you right into pneumonia. So don't use Advil. Don't use ibuprofen. Same deal. You need to use Tylenol right now. Okay? Take Tylenol. Also, with any supplements that you take, you know, fish oil pills, multivitamins, whatever, make sure you're taking vitamin C and D. That's what nurses are using to help uh, them on this uh, fucking uh, little journey as people are working for, you know, a treatment or a cure. Which, uh, I mean, we don't know if one is in sight or not. A lot of things are being speculated. There's, you know, tests going on and whatever. But, okay, what we know. C and D, vitamin C and D. D2 comes from plants. D3 comes from animals. I don't know if that's significant to you or not. It's not really to me. But there you have it. Okay. Take Tylenol, vitamin D3, or vitamin D, whatever, and vitamin T. Okay. And then obviously, like, the fucking social distancing thing. Stay six feet away from people if you're out. And, um, yeah, man. So I just wanted to, important for me to let you guys know, uh, just do a quick overview in case there's any, like, questions people have that's, you know, we're, we're, we're going to stick with the facts right now, and uh, that's what we know. So there you have it. That's a little list of, like, shit to um, remember, right? In related news, but not completely, I hope people are um, taking advantage of this time. If you're stuck working from home or you got laid off temporarily or what have you, take advantage of this time. Musicians, you guys can't tour right now, obviously. Work on new material. Write some new shit. Get some musical projects going. Work on some songs. Tweak and fine-tune some of those songs. All right? Artists, work on your craft. Practice your, uh, you know, whatever things of whatever kind of art you're using or doing. Um, seek out inspiration, that kind of thing. Uh, but, yeah, hone your craft in, man. Fucking don't let this kind of downtime... Even if you're still working, you know, uh, don't let this shit uh, go by without you taking advantage of it and bettering your place in life and situation. And craftsmen, you know, if um, you're not able to uh, deliver or take commission jobs or whatever to um, build something for like a paying customer, whatever. You know, take what supplies are around and try to build little things just to help supplement your income or even just practice and um, like the other, you know, other ones. Work on your craft. Make sure, you know, sharpen your skills, tighten your skills up. Me personally, I have been, um, we're, we're, we want to sell our house. We want to sell our house this spring, but it doesn't look like the market's going to be ready for uh, us to be selling our house and make the type of money that we want to make from the house. We'd get a better house. Um, so I've been working on little things that I've procrastinated on just around the house, you know, fixing little dents and dings and uh, 
spackling, painting, um, that kind of thing. So, you know, I'm. Uh, that's the things I'm doing to pass this time, and you know, uh, uh, of course, you know, spend time with my wife and my kids. But yeah, make sure you take advantage of this time. This is a rare opportunity, and I say opportunity with no hesitation because the good old saying, "When life gives you apples, what do you make?" Lemonade. So, take advantage of this time. It's rare and it's never happened in my 40 years, so uh, make sure you're using it to your advantage to better your situation and better your family situation. And on that note, um, local band released a demo a couple of days ago. And we're nice enough to uh, give me permission to play a song from it. And I'm sure I'm going to butcher the name like I butcher every name on this podcast. Noobzabot. N-O-O-B-S-A-I-B-O-T. They have a demo. It's for free download on Bandcamp as of right now. I suggest you type that word in and listen to it. It's very, very good. So without further ado, here is Flayed by Noobzabot.
So to make up for the, um, oh, sorry, that was a new Zabot song is flayed. You can check that out. It's a free download right now. They're a demo. <clears throat> sorry. Noob Zabot. N-O-O-B-S-E-I-B-O-T S-L-C at bandcamp.com or dot bandcamp.com. So, yeah, go check that shit out. Anyway. What I was saying was um, because last week's was such a non-stop depressing bitch fest, um, my fault, of course, uh, I thought today we would do something different and I would talk about acts of generosity that people have seen and, um, you know, just try to put a little more positivity out into the world. What do you guys think of that shit? Hmm? Well, I'm doing it anyway. So yeah, I posted this on social media, and a couple of people uh, responded. A buddy of mine in Finland, my ancestral home, <laughs> he said that people are setting up online groups to offer to go shopping and to pharmacies for old people who can't leave their houses uh, because of the rich in, uh, risk of infection. And um, he said that a lot of the Rich celebrity doctors are returning to work at the front line and, uh, you know, the regular hospitals. He said that his psychology teacher also contacted all of the students the other day through Zoom and um, had a validating hypnosis exercise. So that's cool. Uh, another friend said he saw in rare moments that people are uh, making actually more of an effort to be social, um, saying hello, uh, acknowledging each other. A buddy of mine, Cody, good job, dude. Cody Labucane, he bought food for two people behind him at the McDonald's drive thru. Um, another friend, she said that the sea communities in New York and Washington are creating thousands of meals for people in self-isolation. My aunt in Minnesota said that people are going out of their way to shop for elderly people who, you know, are afraid to leave their houses. And um, my mom sent me something today, and it's pretty much in vain of this one, but she volunteers at the senior center, and it's a big part of her you know, like life and routine, just volunteering at the senior center because technically she's a senior citizen, but she's like young, kind of. I mean, she's young for a senior citizen. She's only like 62, but she has tons of energy and just likes helping people. You know? Anyway, um, her senior center in, in Tooele is uh, making lunch for everybody every day. You drive through, you drive up there and they hand you, uh, you know, it's all wrapped up in sanitary box and whatever. And they basically just drive up and pick it up. 
the health department, she says, and aging services help the directors pass out the food. Um, and she said it's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good lunch. And then she said a Baptist church down in where she lives called Tooele, because Utah has great names for cities. Um, she said they were handing out food and uh, like kind of prepackaged thing of like bananas and uh, food and stuff. So and canned goods. So that's that's fucking awesome, man. Um, Want to focus more on that stuff instead of. You know, it's easy to be negative at a time like this. It's easy to be pessimistic, and I'm guilty of that. If you listen to episode 49, I am completely guilty of that. But um, I think if we stay positive, we can come through this better people. That's my hope anyway. You know, that's my hope. And, you know, even myself, I've, um, I've forced myself to go out of the way to help people I don't know. I'm not really going to tell you about it because I hate virtue signaling people. People that do that self-virtue virtue signaling thing, you know, is fucking for the birds. And um, I can't stand it. But, you know, I've been, I've been more helpful to people. And that doesn't, you know, it, all it does is just make us human beings and helping each other get through this bullshit that, you know... It, Life ain't fair. It just isn't. That's not a thing. So you can either sit and bitch and moan, or you can rise above and do something. And helping out other people, acts of generosity, that's doing something. Even if it's just small and minute, it's doing something. It's putting a little bit of positivity back out into the universe. Hopefully that shit will come back to you in you know, threefold or tenfold. Anyway, oh, you hear that? Woo! Let's see. Let's see if it could be like a beer commercial. I don't know if you could hear that pouring into my mug right now or not. I think they always like over fucking exaggerate those things, don't they? Well, they do for purposes of cold marketing, dumbass. All right, chill. I've um, got a bunch of great fucking guests and interviews lined up. Um, and shows lined up as soon as you know this whole thing kind of blows over or chills the fuck out you know I've got quite a few I had to postpone Tom Bennett who's a country singer here in Utah um, and uh, the guys from Blackbird Tattoo they were supposed to be on here uh, and then I got Two Satanist buddies of mine that are going to come on. It's going to be hilarious. It's the guys I used to, I used to do this show called Satanist on Satanic Cinema. Anyway, it's those guys that are going to be on here. Uh, I'm hoping in May, and uh, I think we're going to review Glenn Danzig's movie. Because <laughs> I, I hear it's just fantastic. But yeah, man, I'm, I I got a, a whole bunch of you know fucking guests lined up. The band I played a little while ago that Nubas bought, the guy that uh, hit me up from there. Well, I hit him up. Anyway, his name's Robbie. Uh, wow. He does uh, guitar and vocals in that band. I contacted him and asked him, you know, if all this when all this shit. <laughs> flows over, you know, if you'd like to come on here and have a couple beers and uh, top music, and he, he's down, we just, you know, need everything to calm down and uh, get the world back to where it was, get the, get the world, or get the world back to where, um, where we were, you know, a month or two ago. 
it's funny to think of all the like trivial dumb fucking things that we were bitching about back then and how they were such a big deal at the time and now they're not such a big deal but I love having musicians on here it's one of my favorite things to have musicians on here um, you know one thing that I do think is kind of missing especially in like the world of black metal One thing I think is missing is a really cool drum solo. Storm of Evil, and the name of the song is called Buck on the Tombstone. Why not, right? Why not Buck on a Tombstone? Why not? It's uh, perfectly fine. Social distancing. You're far away from people, except for the corpse underneath you, but it's still six feet away. You know, just fuck on a Tombstone. How about that? 
I did make love to a young lady in a Gary for in Ogden Cemetery once. <sighs> she was a fun gal until she became kind of a junkie. Not a junkie. She was like more of a drunk. Anyway. Yes, that was one experience of mine, and it uh, it's a memory. It's a memory I, I have, and uh, I, I do like to tell people about it because it makes me sound like really, really metal. I don't know where I was going with that. You can find Storm of Evil and Hell Forever. In fact, my buddy Dave, that was amongst, if you guys watch my little videos whenever people send me stuff in the mail, um, Dave from anti All Forever Records sent me a package a little while ago. There's a video of me opening it and being very excited about it. In that package was this album, Storm of Evil. And uh, this album is pretty goddamn good. And that song from that CD so you can get that CD if you go to store envy or uh, to um, spikes and hate store envy.com and buy that motherfucker it's worth it it's worth it I think I'm gonna review it next uh, Thursday next week I want to review it it's good it's a really good fucking album I'm digging it You know, oh, fuck. coming together, you know, as like a community and shit, it's, uh, it helps things. It helps you get through. And, uh, that Storm of Envy, or sorry, Storm of Evil album, it's just called Gravestone. And, uh. It's, it's really fucking good. I want to review it. Probably next week. Did I already say that? Anyway. But, you know, coming together as a community and helping each other get through these things, it strengthens it strengthens your bond with people, I think. And um, it, uh, it, it pressures you to rise above and do better. To get your ass in the gear and uh, make things happen. And uh, sometimes things like this could be a, a blessing in disguise. You know? I mean, I'm not saying, you know, thousands of people fucking dying from some shit that people coughing and with the fucking lungs and the cough and all the, you know, scared old people, you know. But I'm just saying, maybe this we could apply a little pressure. Maybe this is a little pressure to power. as I like to still from MC Chim. Uh, maybe it's pressuring us to rise above and do better as a society, as a people, as a country. You know, take advantage of this shit. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of this time. It's probably not going to, I hope it never happens again, but, you know, you kind of hear that thing from people that go through cancer and live. It's the, I, I've heard this, but they say it's the worst thing, also the best thing that ever happened to them. And I wonder if it's just that deprivation of basic things that we all take for granted. We appreciate them more. Some appreciate more is what I guess I'm trying to shit say there. I don't know. And so, in the meantime, here's another song.
Okay, that was Gesundrian. The name of the song is Infernal Jackals of the Blackest Plutonium. Holy shit. They're saying a fucking mouthful there. And they got their song from um, Diocletian's, probably one of my favorite Diocletian albums right there, that Gesundrian. Uh, you know... Fuck it. I guess I'll just wrap it up right there. Thank you all for tuning in, and uh, uh, I hope you guys are all staying safe and uh, following my advice on the tips to get through this bullshit. And, um, yeah, man. See you on your shit, man, sucker. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.